This time on Custom Works, we're looking at Joanna Tron's roof and just like Sam Beckett, put him right what once went wrong. Let's get to the workshop. Yeah, you'd be right in thinking we're going to be looking at Dualatron and we're going to be sorting out the windows. They're not quite the right shape. I was never really happy. So I'm just going to... It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a tiny alteration, but I'm just going to change them a little bit just so the car has a better sort of cohesion to its design. So without further ado, let's get to the workshop. In fact, it's not the workshop because it's a beautiful sunny day. I know I'm always going on about the weather. I'm going to actually do a bit outside. All right then, so this is the front of Dualatron and I never ever liked it because the corners of the windscreen come up too far, make this little bit just here look a little bit sort of, um, a little bit light to be honest. I never ever liked it. I've always thought it should have a lazier curve across the top of the windscreen. So as it's here and at the moment, I'm getting a second chance to fix it. I'm going to fix it. So I put some foam on a few days ago. That is so dry now, absolutely baked through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the DA 40 grit in there, 40 grit SIA disc. I'm going to smooth all this out and let's see if it looks any better with that slightly rolled top to the windscreen, slightly heavier brow in the roof, just to give it, I don't know, I just think it'll be better. And that windscreen comes up a long way and that top bit, you're never looking through it. so. Don't really need to be there really does it let's get that sand out let's shape up the front of the roof Okay then, so here is the new curve. And we can see here, we have a lot more relaxed curve on this. And it's gonna make the whole thing look so much better. How I've got this sharp edge, I've put a strip of aluminium around here. Now I've used a strip of aluminium because of course, it bends nice, holds its shape, and that is glued to the foam. And there is some Bondo on the foam. I have Bondoed over the foam, but I'm gonna glass over all of this so it will make it all one piece forever together, together forever. And you know, it'll make it super strong. And I've put the Bondo on the foam because I always like to think that all this Bondo is gonna be actually underneath the fiberglass with a minimal amount of Bondo on top of the fiberglass because once you glass over all this, it really does sort of zero it down to be in, you know, that's the first layer over the form and then you can smooth from there. But at this point, this is looking pretty good. It's given the car that mean look that I always thought it was missing because it just looked, I don't know, surprised. And now we're gonna look at the back window. On this window, what is going on here? Well, you know what that is. That's four day old foam, and that is ready to be sculpted into a new rear window surround. I never thought the roof was quite long on this. So if by reshaping the back of the roof, I can get a little bit longer on the roof, a little bit less window at the back, still keeping that nice curve, this car is gonna look so much better. So let's get the tools out. Let's chop some of this foam off and let's make this car look a little bit better than it already does.
Right then, Duelatron's windscreen. Ever since I finished the car, I never liked the top of the windscreen. I thought it came up too high, and then the roof made this bulge, and that's what we've got rid of today. We've got rid of all of that, and we've brought it all down to this nice, lazy radius just here. Before, the radius was just too tight. And one thing I always like on a, a heavily chopped car is when, you know, like the roof will come round and it'll go around there and then around and back. You know, it's just like a elongated sort of oval. We didn't quite have that. So, putting the foam on, edging it up in the aluminium and then bondoing into it, that has made it a lot better. However, like I would say, you can't make a car out of strips of aluminium, foam and a bit of bondo. This is still very weak. You can hear. This whole front piece will be fiberglassed over and that'll make it last forever. That's the front. Let's take a look also, what I'm doing today, at the back. So, at the rear of the roof is, oddly enough, the rear screen. I always thought that the screen was too long and it made the roof too short. So, here, I've extended the roof by probably about three inches and brought it down a little bit more. And this has just made this a lot nicer shape. Also on the sides there, I've re-radius the sides. The Vauxhall Victor rear screen is a very different shape to this. And already when I built it, a lot of this screen is actually tucked down into the body to get it low enough. So it's quite a narrow, upright wraparound. Uh, whereas this, it's a lot more laid back. Got a little bit more length on the screen. We've got this upstand just here. Um, to seal around all of this is going to be a lot easier um, once it's finished and to make it look nice. The transition between the roof and the screen, where it had a piece of sort of glued on rubber and it was, it was never quite good enough. But yeah, really is coming together. This uh, still needs a little bit more shaping, maybe a little bit more filler. And then as well, we can go on to this with a couple of good layers of fiberglass and then that will be good forever also you may notice the roof is looking a little bit different well it's because dualitron albeit over the top of the other roof has a whole new roof what i've done to put all this right is i got all the loose off so all the loose big some big chunks came off and then i sanded it all down with 40 grit and then i covered it all in resin to get all the resin in all the gaps all the cracks any voids within the material. And why that was still wet, I filled all the, the bits that were a bit low with some fiberglass compound. And then literally just as that was dry, I did all of this so I got the, the, the chemical lock between each material. Yeah, I built that up, built that up, built that up. This has now got three layers of fiberglass over it. And then it's got this gray stuff, which is like a, it's like a topper for roofs. You, it's like a fiberglass compound. You paint it on and then it seals everything. And I've done that over the top just so I've got something good to sand at. Um, and I'm not instantly through to the fiberglass and sanding away at that. So I've got all this and it gives me a good guide. And what I'll do is I'll long block this whole roof off, then skim it in filler. And then, well then it should start to get back to looking and being like a car. You know, it's so hot to touch at the minute. So get to do so a little bit outside. So another bit on Dualitron that I never really liked. And uh, don't get me wrong, I do love this car. You know, I think it's amazing, but just over the years, I've, I've, I've learned more stuff and thought, if only I'd done that. One bit I never liked was this rear corner. Now, to me, it looks like it's a box with bits cut out to make the shape. And I never thought the wing was quite wide enough. The wing needs to be like the widest point. So that needs to be probably as wide as the bumper. I didn't like that. And there's another problem. I know, you know, we're on the ramp as always. So always the ramp's always in the way. But this part as well. So the wing comes down and then drops in at a steep angle there. And I've been looking at this thinking, why didn't I bring it through and then down to the front of the door? You know, this is a lot straighter, smoother line. And this is a perfect time to do this because there's a lot of cracking in the door. There's a lot of work to do just in this piece. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend the wing by about three inches all the way along 
and then taper it into just there and give it a longer more elegant flowing line of a wing rather than it having this weird I don't know you know what I mean I built the car I've no idea why I did this uh, uh, what no so I'm gonna get this just piece of copper pipe I'm using copper because just like aluminium it's a nut and it it won't it won't react with anything so I can put it underneath the fiberglass and it's not going to rust away and ruin the whole job. And I'm going to run it off of there and onto there. And hopefully at this point, rather than there being a sharp kink, probably from about here, I'll be able to get a smooth curve into the front. But sadly, you're going to have to wait till next week to see that because um, I'm off to enjoy the sunshine. Well, once again, that's all we've got time for on Custom Works. I will be back next week with more car-themed mayhem. Is that what this show is? Making stuff? Weird stuff. Anyway, don't forget, click, subscribe, all the stuff. Share, tell your friends about Custom Works. It's an amazing channel. <laughs> and don't forget, this Tuesday, you can see me on Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge on NBC. My like major network debut and probably the last time I'll ever be on a major network, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, this has been Custom Works. I thank you very much and a good night.